you doing? Suzanne here. Uh, did you get any cool gifts for Christmas? I thought I'd share with you my uh, favourite gift that I got. And it's this wooden heart here, which my eldest son bought for me and his dad. Uh, just to say how much he loves us and thanks us for the support and encouragement we give him. And this was my favourite gift, not because it's the most expensive or the most glitzy, because it's the most precious to me. Now, over the next 10 weeks, we're going to be joining up with Michael and the Coastline Vineyard Kids to learn more about the precious gifts that God gives to us through his Holy Spirit. Now, I could try and explain it all to you, but probably I think it's best if I hand over to Michael to tell you a little bit more about it. And he's got some unusual friends to help him. Take a look. Welcome to the smoothie bar with juicy fruit, so yes we are. We don't need money or fast cars, cause we're living in a smoothie bar. Everything is perfect here, I believe. Here for many a year. Let me sing it loud and let me sing it clear. I just love living here. Welcome to the smoothie bar with juicy fruit. So, oh, yes, we are. We don't need money or fast cars because we're living in a smoothie bar. Life is pleasant, life is great. There's just nothing that I could hate. I'm living here with all my mates. It makes me feel so great. Welcome to the smoothie bar with juicy fruit. So oh, yes we are. We don't need money or fast cars. Cause we're living in a smoothie bar. Living here makes me happy. Just look at me and you will see. I'm as thrilled as a fruit can be. Oh I am feeling so happy. Welcome to the smoothie bar with juicy fruit. So oh, yes we are. We don't need money or fast cars. Cause we're living in a smoothie bar. Oh. Welcome to the smoothie bar with juicy fruit. So oh, yes we are. We don't need money or fast cars. Cause we're living in a cause we're living in a cause we're living in a smoothie bar. Guys, guys, the workers are coming. Everybody hide! What if they eat us? Hey. <laughs> Welcome back to the Coastline Kids online experience. I hoped you liked the little song at the start. That's actually something I made a few years ago, but I thought it was relevant because look, look around. We are back in the Coastline Kids smoothie bar and we're gonna be looking over the next 10 weeks at the fruits of the spirit, which is a part of the Bible. We're gonna look at it today and then we're gonna spend each week going into detail in one of the themes and each one is gonna be themed around that fruit. It's gonna be really exciting. It's gonna be really fun. I hope you're gonna absolutely love it because I'm gonna absolutely love it. Oh, what a place. It's fantastic. I love your smoothie bar, Michael. I am a real lover of fruit. I love strawberries, I love um, mango, peaches, bananas, satsumas, grapes, um, all kinds of fruit. What about you guys? Do you love fruit? Hopefully you're gonna pick out some favorites over the next few weeks. Now, before we dig into the Bible and learn a bit more about these fruits and these gifts that God gives us, how about we do some worship together and with the Cheeky Pandas?
challenging Michael to a game, I thought I would try and break a world record, because I got nothing else to do. I've been so bored recently. <laughs> anyway, here's the plan. I'm going to try and break a world record for the most number of post-it notes stuck to my face in 30 seconds. The current record for most notes stuck on face in 30 seconds is 38. I'm going to try and beat that today. But take your vote right now. Do you think I'm going to beat the world record? B20 or do very, very, very badly. Take your votes, make your guess. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Three, two, one, go! Oh dear. Oh, they're not sticking at all. Okay, here we go. really bad time is up and <laughs> none of them stayed stuck to my face I just got a little bit of a trail hanging from my hair but that doesn't even count in the rules I think my face is too sweaty I mean Ivan that was shockingly bad I wonder if he'll do any better at the world record attempts in the future we'll have to wait and see uh, right now though it's time for a budget Bible reading uh, this week it's gonna be a very short one because the passage is very very short it is taken though from Galatians 5 but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love. Joy. Mm, peace. Patience. Kindness. Goodness. Faithfulness. Gentleness. Self-control. There is no law against these things what is your favorite fruit mine is well i've got three really cherries 
mango and raspberries. Those are my top three fruits. Now fruit is one of the best foods because not only is it delicious, but it is also very good for you, which generally speaking never happens with food, does it? Think, chocolate cake sweets, they're all bad for you. Usually the tastiest stuff is the most unhealthy, but fruit is tasty and healthy. I'm getting way too sidetracked by fruit. Here is an apple tree. The type of fruit that grows on an apple tree is they're not bananas, not watermelons, but yeah, you guessed it, apples. It's a good job you haven't had me as your schoolwork teacher. This is pretty basic stuff, isn't it? Now, can an apple tree grow lemons or a pear tree grow peaches? Of course, the answer is no, it's not possible. In the passage we read about, uh, it talked a little bit about fruit, but it didn't mean actual fruit like clementines and plums. What it was talking about was spiritual fruit. And the words spiritual fruit are two words that when you put them together, sound super Christian, but also don't make a lot of sense at all. So I'd like you to picture it a little bit like this. You're gonna have to go with me on this one. Imagine Jesus was a tree. Okay, so a Jesus tree would grow Jesus fruit. And what kind of fruit would that be? We're gonna take a moment to pause the video and list all of the qualities, all of the fruits, if you like, that you can think of about Jesus. I'll give you one to start off with. Jesus was love. What other qualities or fruits do you think would best describe Jesus? Take a moment to pause the video now and discuss. So, what fruits did you list? I reckon there's some of you who are very clever. You know where I'm going. You've probably listed them all already, but the Bible gives us a list of characteristics. This Bible passage that we read, which are like fruits that will grow on a Jesus tree. These are the things we read earlier. We've got love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Nine things. Unlike real trees though, we get as people to choose what kind of tree we want to be. And if we choose to be a Jesus tree, then the Bible says that we will produce the Jesus fruits. We're gonna look in detail at each of the fruits over the next nine weeks with each episode themed around the fruit. It's gonna be great, but today, I just wanted to give you the opportunity to say yes to being a Jesus tree, to choose to be a Jesus tree. So Jesus as a person, he was loving, he was joyful, peaceful, patient, kind, good, faithful, gentle, and full of self-control. And if that sounds like the kind of person that you would wanna be friends with, I mean, who wouldn't? Well, you know what, you can be. If you choose to be Jesus's friend, he will give you a gift, which is the Holy Spirit. And it's the Holy Spirit that produces that great fruit in our lives. If you'd like to become Jesus' friend for the first time, that is super exciting. Or if you're already Jesus' friend, but you wanna become more like him and grow more of that fruit, then I'd like to invite you to repeat a prayer after me. We're all gonna do this together. Are you ready? Say it out loud after me. Jesus, Jesus, I want to be your friend. I want to be your friend. I want to know you more, I want to know you more, and I want to be like you, and I want to be like you. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Thanks for praying that prayer with me. Do you know, when we pray a prayer like that, there's a party going on in heaven. Isn't that really cool? That's awesome, isn't it? Holy Spirit, would you come and fill us now? One of the best ways to get to know our friends is by talking to them. So if you've just prayed that prayer, you've become a friend of Jesus for the first time. I'm going to hand you over to Alison, who's going to lead us in some chat and catch, which is where we spend some time getting to know Jesus. Hi, this is Alison, and I'm videoing from my house today. So this is where I live. OK, we're going to do some prayer time now. We're going to do that fantastic thing called chatting with God so that he gets to know us and we can get to know him. So, remember how we do this? We think of the answer to our questions and we say them in our head. If you want to, you can whisper them in your hands. Today's questions. The first one is, what makes you laugh? Jesus wants to know what makes you laugh. Really have a good old laugh. So, Okay, the next question 
is, what is the best present you have ever been given? And the third question this week, if you were going to buy a special present for somebody, what would it be and who would you give it to? A special present for somebody, what would it be, who would you give it to? Okay, I have told Jesus those answers today, so he now knows a bit more about me. Right, now here's the next part when we get to know a bit more about Jesus. So in a moment, we're going to sit quietly with our family. We might have things that they want prayer for. We might have things that um, we're not sure about. Okay? But Jesus wants to know. But he also wants you to listen to the answers. Some people don't really get to listen much. Some people God talks to in pictures. He might give them a picture or a sign. Other people, he may give a word to. Other people, maybe not this week, maybe in a little while. But of course, we keep practising so that we're ready for when God does have something to say to us. We're now going to think about what special gift has Jesus given to me? What special thing does Jesus want me to do for him? I like to hold my hands out so I receive from him. I feel that Jesus is telling me that I love children and he's given me the gift of explaining things to them. Okay, we're going to pause the video and then you're going to spend time talking to your family. Maybe you want some more time for prayer. Maybe you want some time to pray for each other. But we can stop and listen to Jesus. We're going to spend some time once again worshipping Jesus. Would you stand up to your feet and uh, let's sing it out with all that we've got. Do join in with the actions. Let's worship together. Jesus. Thank you, we want to be more like you. We want to be a Jesus tree, we want to produce Jesus fruit, and we want to worship you now. Amen. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, I worship you Touching every heart, I worship you. 
worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. It is time for a pie and today I'm going to do a bit of a deluxe pie. I'm going to add some fruit in. So I've got some raisins here. We'll pop them in the bottom and then... Uh, mm, yummy. And load up a pie. Uh, and I guess we just pie ourselves. Here we go. Oh. Mm -mm. More, 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 more. Stop. Here is the fruity pie. Here is my fruity face. Are we ready? <laughs> In three. What a morning. We've been learning about um, all those fruits that God gives to us. And I know that I definitely want to grow more like Jesus. What about you? What fruits would you like to grow in? Joy, patience, kindness, gentleness? Well, next week, we're going to be looking at love with Michael at the fruit bar. Uh, but until then, maybe you want to think about all those different fruits. But uh, have a good week, everyone, and see you next time.